This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Carbonite. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. I am your host, John Rangers, the show where the name should give it all away. We take all the tech rumors from the week and we condense them into one show for you. Up this week, it's all about the big phones, HTC One Max, Galaxy Note 3. We got some operating system business to talk about with Key Lime Pi, and we might know, just might know, what kind of camera is going to be in the iPhone 5S. I'm John Ranger. This is Rumor Roundup. Let's start rounding up. The HTC One Max. Over the past month or so, rumors about the handset have been heating up with pictures, rumors, all kinds of other things unofficially being revealed. But it looks like the HTC One, big look at this photo, it's meant to show the scale of the HTC One Max, which is supposedly a 5.9 inch full HD display. It looks pretty sweet. And you look at the picture, it's got a 4 inch Motorola device on top of it. It just shows how large the HTC One Max is going to be. Incidentally, the HTC One Max will fill out an entire lineup of One handsets, including including the current flagship and the HTC One Mini, which we checked out a few weeks ago. A pretty beastly Snapdragon 800, two gigabytes of RAM, yes, I said gigabytes, an ultra pixel camera, boom sound speakers, HTC is pretty awesome, Sense5 UI. It's still unclear that when we'll see an official unveiling from HTC, but with all the hints and leaked photos, chances are we'll see something very, very soon. So following a really not so mysterious announcement from Samsung earlier in the week, hinting that the Galaxy Note 3 will be unveiled at September 4th event, which we will be at. Another leaked image of the alleged third generation phablet has appeared online, revealing the uncovered back of the device. The photo comes from the Italian site WebTrek, which unfortunately couldn't guarantee its authenticity. The latest Galaxy Note 3 photo doesn't really reveal much, but we do see what it looks to be a redesigned battery, as well as two SIM cards Slots, which probably means it ain't gonna launch in the US. Based on the previous two Galaxy Note handsets, I'd expect the Galaxy Note 3 to support at least a 3,000 mAh battery. Galaxy Note 3 is expected to come equipped with a 5.7 inch beautiful 1080p screen, either a Snapdragon 800 or Octa-Core Exynos processor, Android 4.3 Jelly Bean, and lots of the Samsung added features we've seen in the Galaxy S4 line of smartphones. So Google just released Android 4.3, which is really just a tiny little update to the Jelly Bean operating system last month, but we expect it to roll out its next big update to the OS sometime before the end of the year, which we thought we we're actually going to have when 4.3 came out. The company has already teased Android 5.0, pretty likely going to be called Key Lime Pies to go with that dessert themed name all the way up the alphabet. Earlier in the week, we saw the new software may have finally been confirmed. Key Lime Pie lay deep within Chromium, the Chrome browser's open source skeleton. A series of tests have been uncovered revealing a number of Android devices running different iterations of the OS. We see a ton of Samsung Galaxy devices all running the Jelly Bean OS, designated by the letter J, for example. The Note 2 is running JZ045K, suggesting that Samsung will roll out a software update to the phablet in the near future. We also saw the Nexus 7 and Nexus 4 running those versions respectively, which would also imply that the devices are running an early version of Key Lime Pie. It was particularly elegant if the search giant unveiled the new OS alongside a new Nexus 5 handset. And based on earlier rumors, we may see both software and hardware released this fall. Please! 5-inch Nexus device would be pretty sweet as well. It might give that HTC One Max a run from my pocket. So last week we got a glimpse of the camera for one of upcoming Apple's iPhones. At the time, the general assumption was that the leaked module depicted by the blurry photo was headed for the iPhone 5C, suggesting that the low-cost handset might pack an 8-megapixel camera. However, a second leak appears to confirm the component actually belongs to the iPhone 5S. Online component seller Luna Commerce, which is already offering a number of different iPhone 5S parts, recently uploaded a series of photos of the upcoming flagship smartphone's back camera, offering a pretty clear look at the module. The new photos contain two big clues. First, the flash module is totally detached and doesn't show up in the photos. Second, we see Apple's official part numbers beginning with 821 printed on the component. It's still unclear how powerful the iPhone 5S camera is going to be, but while latest photos suggest Apple might stick with that 8 megapixel rear shooter, our earlier reports have indicated that the new smartphone may come equipped with an improved camera, but we don't really know anything until Apple decides to tell us, which we expect will be sometime in the next month or so, so stay tuned for updates. Let me take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Carbonite. It's not just for Han Solo anymore. Carbonite is an online business backup solution that will back up all your computers, servers, and external hard drives to your home, office, or small business. Just set it up once and Carbonite will protect all your office files so you can stay focused on just 
doing what you do and running your business. No additional hardware is required. With Carbonite, getting lost files back is super duper easy. Your employees can even access their backed up files on any computer, smartphone, or iPad with a free Carbonite app. And if you want this, that sounds awesome to you and it should for a low flat annual fee. Carbonite keeps your business protected no matter how many computers you have or where they are located. Start your free trial, no credit card required at Carbonite.com. Enter offer code TECHNO and you'll get two free months if you decide to buy. Again, that's Carbonite.com and enter code TECHNO for two free months. Step back for a minute. Reminder that I host another show called Techno and Buffalo Driven where I get to talk about cars and sometimes I get to drive cars. This week I talked about one of the hottest supercars coming to the market, BMW is i8. You saw it at Mission Impossible 4. Now know everything about the car. Hit the link right here or down below to go check it out. That was a lot of mobile news crammed into one episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to Techno Buffalo. Give the video a thumbs up. We most definitely appreciate it. Uh, I am John Rettinger and I will see you in the next video. What's up everyone, John here. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you just saw, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Ask the Buffalo, where our very own Ashley Escada answers your burning gadget questions and Rettinger's Rants, where quite obviously I go off on things that bug me across consumer tech. If you wanna see me get super red-faced and mad, you should click the text below that says subscribe and check out our other shows by clicking right over here. I'll see you guys next time.